So here we're looking at number one from section 15.2. And the first part of the 15.2 homework asks us um, to look at this graph, trace a path that they give us, or trace the edges that they give us here. Um, let me actually read it word for word. Um, yeah, trace a path. So this is a path. Trace the path with a pencil, number the edges, then determine if the path is an Euler path, an Euler circuit, or neither. Okay, so what we need to do here before we do anything else is remember what Euler paths and Euler circuits are. So I made sure to write down these definitions really quickly so that we can go over them. An Euler path is a path that travels through every edge of the graph once and only once. So that means you can't retrace and you can't skip an edge. By the time you're done with your Euler path, it has to cover every single edge of the graph and it has to do that once and only once. An Euler circuit is the same idea, except it's a circuit that travels through a graph once and only once. So it's going to hit every single edge once and only once, but it's going to start at the same vertex that it stops at, or I guess stop at the same vertex it starts at. Uh, I guess either way you look at it, it's the same. So one clue that we have here, if they're giving us a list of vertices, like they do here, we have this list of vertices, F, E, B, A, C, D, A, B, D. I don't even have to draw anything to know that it can't be an Euler circuit. If it was an Euler circuit, it would stop and start on the same vertex. And here we're, stop, we're starting on F and stopping on D. So I know right off the bat there is no way for this to be an Euler circuit. So either it's an Euler path or it's neither. So let's figure out which one it is by following the instructions. So what they've asked us to do is to trace the path and number those edges. So they're saying F to E. So we'll go ahead and do F to E with a 1. E to B with a 2. B to A. And I guess we could pick either one of the B to A's because there are two different B to A's. I'll pick this one with a 3, A to C with a 4, C to D with a 5, D to A with a 6, A to B with a 7, and B to D with an 8. Okay? And so I've labeled everything that they've asked me to label, but what are we missing? we're missing one of these edges. We never covered this edge. And for it to be an Euler path, we would have to also have this edge between D and F. And that doesn't show up anywhere here in this list. So we knew it wasn't a circuit just by looking at it, knowing that it didn't stop and start in the same place. But now that we've drawn out all of the edges that they've given us, we see this big gaping hole right here. That edge isn't included, so it's not an Euler path either. So the answer is neither. This one is not an Euler path, and it's not an Euler circuit.